Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my new uh, Benchmade that just came in. Uh, this is my first Benchmade knife that I've purchased. Um, decided that I wanted to get uh, another blade, uh, not only for myself, but to review for you guys as well. So I ordered a 551 BKOD Griptilian. Um, it's olive drab. Now, you can see here this is part of the Blue Class series by Benchmade, um, which means it is made in the United States. Um, you can see here you get a microfiber type cloth bag. Um, it says Benchmade on it. Um, and it has a uh, little thing here that you can tighten down if you need to. Um, and here's the knife itself. Like I said, you can see it's an OD has the black plain drop point blade the Benchmade logo right on the front 551 it says it's made in the US as you can see here on the back it's a Mel Pardue designed blade uh, you can see here the pocket clip it's got some uh, nice texturing here obviously with the name Griptilian they're gonna have some sort of uh, nice texture on the knife uh, to provide you with a good grip you can see there's some uh, raised areas across the back here it comes with the axis lock so just depress the lock you can see it shift down whenever I open the blade now supposedly you can also press this down and fling it open um, I'll monkey around with a little bit more but um, I've seen some people do that uh, the pocket clip is sturdy you can see I'm pulling on it here pretty good um, even though this is plastic uh, the knife doesn't feel cheap which um, for a bench made I don't think it should feel cheap for the price you're paying for a knife um, I'd seen this knife online. Uh, it was about $120. Found another site where it was 102. Another one, it was just under 100. And then I found this on uh, BladePlay.com uh, for around 80 bucks. Now it's a lot to spend on a knife, um, considering the most I had ever spent prior to this on a knife was probably 40 bucks. Um, but I really wanted a Benchmade um, just for the quality I've seen of their products and this blade got really good reviews uh, I haven't seen anybody have anything really bad to say about it uh, so I decided to go with it uh, the blade itself is a 154cm stainless steel blade uh, it has a Valox handle and then a 420 uh, stainless steel liners um, and like I showed you it has a reversible pocket clip uh, the total blade length is a uh, 3.45 inches uh, thickness is only 0.115 and then the handle thickness is uh, 0.640 um, it says the uh, blade hardness is uh, 5860 HRC and the total weight of the knife itself is uh, going to be 3.25 ounces. Um, if you have this knife open fully, it's uh, a little over 8 inches in length. Now when I first ordered this knife, um, I wasn't sure quite how it would compare to my uh, Tenacious. But actually, I have the Tenacious here, uh, it's actually a little bit longer than the Tenacious, I think. Oh, maybe not. Let's go ahead and measure it here. Like I said, about eight. Yeah, and this is under. So, it is a little bit longer than the Tenacious. Um, which is good. I uh, like to carry a big blade like the Tenacious. So, to carry the Griptilian, uh, when I ordered it, I thought it might be a little bit smaller just because I didn't have the hard data on me 
uh, to know exactly how compared to the Tenacious, but it actually is bigger, and uh, I'm actually pleased with that. Um, thought it was going to be a little bit smaller, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you guys would want to know. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me. Try to answer them as best I can for you. Uh, the blade itself, um, coming from Benchmade, is not sharp at all. Um, I don't know if I have a piece of paper around here. There's a bag from Hallmark. I mean, you can see it doesn't have a very good edge on it. So, I'm going to have to touch that up. It's kind of disappointing. Spend uh, $80 on a knife and it doesn't come sharp out of the box. That, I didn't do that with the knife. Um, got some liquid skin on that. I did that at work. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's it. So that's going to be the Benchmade Blue Class. Uh, it's the 551 Griptilian in the OD. Um, I've also seen it in black and sand. Um, you can get the combo with a plain blade with the serrations down here. I decided to go plain blade. Like I said, I do not like to sharpen serrated knives. So, I figure it's just easier. You know, if worse comes to worse, you can sharpen a plain blade on a rock uh, if you absolutely must do it. Um, probably not going to get the greatest edge, but it's going to be a little bit better than trying to sharpen serrations. So, I just wanted to show you that. Um, like I said, it's kind of expensive. But I wanted to get a really good knife, so I went with the 551 Griptilian. So I hope you guys liked it.